When Yan Wu approaches her in the middle of the rain, Heian greets Yan Wu as if reacting normally towards him, and it looks like she has lost her memory. Realizing that Heian has lost her memories, Yan Wu thinks it is his fault that she has become like that. There is a chance Heian lost her memories due to the stress she received after knowing Yan Wu was planning to get a divorce. However, looking at the epilogue, Heian could be pretending to lose her memory in order to repair her relationship with Yan Wu, since he seems to believe everything Heian told him. The next day, Yan Wu is planning to ask the doctor about Heian's condition. Similar to Yan Wu, Eun Song will also discover information about Heian's health. Meanwhile, as Yan Wu has done his research and is trying to inform them about the risks of the resort business, the grandpa still couldn't believe Yan Wu and chooses not to listen to his suggestion, asking him to leave instead. Yan Wu is angry at how everyone easily believes in Eun Song's words. After work, Yan Wu meets Bom Ja, who avoided him before and decides to ask why he wanted to get a divorce. She gets suspicious that Yan Wu must have another woman and asks where he met the woman. However, Yan Wu will deny that and explain everything to Bom Ja. He also tells her that he will not go anywhere, leaving Hain alone. After knowing the truth about Yan Wu's intention, Bom Ja still has unfinished business with Sul He, and this time she can't hold her anger towards her, making her father side with Sul He. On the other hand, the day that Zhu Chol has been waiting for has come, which is the ceremony to celebrate the start of resort construction. At the ceremony, Yan Wu encounters Eun Song, and a tense atmosphere prevails between them, as Yan Wu is unable to halt the construction, and he has to protect Hei Yin from Eun Song. During that time, Hei Yin witnesses how her family treated Yan Wu and gets angry at him. She can't accept how the others look down on Yan Wu. After the ceremony, as Da He worried about, things will go according to Eun Sung's plan. Once the construction begins, they will insinuate the licensing issue, which will make the resort business on the brink of failure. Because of it, Su Chol will ask Yan Wu, who understands the business, for help. Because of this, Yan Wu will figure out what Eun Sung is planning to do with the resort business. Not only that, he will get closer to Eun Sung's secret as he will get the list of people who bought the watches. From there, he will find a person who is close to director Zhou and Wang byung Wu, who is the mastermind behind everything. Meanwhile, Hein, who has lost her memories and received Yan Wu's schedule from her father, decides to follow what Yan Wu has been doing. From running in the elementary school, playing coin baseball, to eating dinner at the place Yan Wu always visited. However, while there, Yan Wu and Yang Qi unexpectedly sit next to Hain. Without them knowing, they talk about Yan Wu and Hain's relationship, including how he imagines Hain getting angry with him and Yan Wu's sincerity about their relationship. Looks like Yan Wu will mention how he can find happiness with Hain in small things. When they were in a relationship, Yan Wu took Hain to use the subway. Curious about his reasons, Hain asked him why he chose to take the subway instead of using taxis or cars on the ground. Yan Wu happily answered that when he had a hard day, but there was no place to complain, he would get on line too. He continued to explain that it is a circular line, so it goes around Seoul. And time flies if you just sit and watch people. After going around like that, when the sun sets and he reaches the section from Son Jong Station to Hung Jong Station, he can see the best view in Seoul. He closed Hain's eyes for a moment to let her see the sunset. Hain was surprised to see how beautiful the sky was. Yan Wu then continued to tell her, When I see that, I am thinking let's just forget how bad I felt today and just go home. As Hain looked at him, Yan Wu and Hain held hands while mesmerized by the sunset. From her seat, Hain is able to hear everything. Upon returning home, Hain meets Eun Song. And he quickly realizes that there is something different about Hain, as she seems not to recognize him based on her expression. However, Yan Wu, who sees them, quickly separates Hain from Eun Song. Yan Wu warns Eun Song not to get close to Hain as he already knows Eun Song is related to the hunting ground incident. He tells him that if he tries to harm her, he will do the same to him. Listening to him, Eun Song understands how Yan Wu wants to protect Hain, 
But he is confident that Heian will choose him over Yan Wu. It seems Eun Sung's confidence comes from the necklace that used to belong to Heian, but is now in his possession. Especially since Heian's necklace was still with her during the drowning accident, which might have been planned by Sul Hee at that time, as Heian mentioned it was a mysterious accident. Be sure not to miss the upcoming episode, as Heian will come to understand Yan Wu's sincerity, despite her efforts to avoid hearing his explanation. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.